This video is about making 2D and 3D drawings using AutoCAD 2000 to 2012. I'll talk about the process and create some mechanical models. You will see that I and my students create our own interface. My name is George Ash. I have been an AutoCAD instructor at a local university in Boston, Massachusetts for more than 10 years. I have taught AutoCAD to hundreds of students. My methods of instruction is different because my students are taught to draw both a 2D and solid model of an object immediately after the first lecture. The reasons for our success is simple. I provide all students with about 40 AutoCAD drawings. I also provide students with movie video files which explain in detail how to create those drawings. My method is to use a vertical split screen. My drawings are placed on the left side of the screen and students are taught how to recreate the drawings on the right side of the screen. I offer no books nor papers to read. Students learn by doing, not by reading. Many of my students have had little or no experience with any kind of CAD program before taking the course, but they show enthusiasm and have fun learning AutoCAD since they are taught right away how to make solids and move them around in 3D space. If you would like to become a student, send me an email or give me a call. If you have an AutoCAD program version 2000 or later, that will be okay. I can show you how to create the mechanical drawings which you are now viewing, as well as isometric, architectural, civil, and electrical drawings. In my video tutorials and online lectures, I talk about other aspects of the AutoCAD program because it is a complex program. For example, every student has to learn about layers because every object has to have a layer. With layers you control color, visibility, and whether the layers are on, off, or frozen. Also, blocks are a useful tool. Blocks are just groups of objects. A sample block might be a table or a chair. You can save that block outside the drawing file with its own designation. Blocks can then be inserted into any drawing as often as desired. The scale factor of a drawing is also very important. You might want to draw a football field and need a scale of 1 to 100, or a map and need a scale of 1 to 500. You might draw something like a laptop or a piece of furniture and your scale might be one to one or one quarter. You might want to specify on a drawing different units such as decimal, fractional, or architectural units. We can even create drawings using the metric system of measurement. Object snaps are important they help you to create accurate drawings. They let you select features such as midpoints, intersection points, or endpoints, and connect them with precision to other objects in your drawing. By selecting exact points, you can create drawings more accurately. You have to learn about extruding objects. It's very important in solid modeling. The extrude command is the basic tool used to create 3D solids. Extrude creates solids from closed objects such as polygons, rectangles, circles, ellipses, and regions. When used for extrusions, these objects are called profiles. You can extrude a profile in either a positive or negative direction. Extrusions can have a positive or negative taper, and profiles can be extruded along paths to create solids 
of varying forms, for example, the curved hang handle of a cup. You can also use Boolean operations to create complex solid models. My tutorials show how to use the operations of union, subtract, and intersect. The union command defines a new solid that consists of volumes between two or more solids. When using the subtract command, two sets of solids are selected. A single solid will be created based on the subtraction of one solid from the other. And the intersect command defines a new solid based on the common volume between selected solids and all other material is discarded. In addition to the solid command of extrusion, there is another way to create a solid object in AutoCAD. The revolve command creates 3D solids by revolving closed polylines, circles, ellipses, closed splines or regions about an axis in 3D space. The simplest form of a surface in AutoCAD is a 3D face. Faces can be thought of as opaque triangles used to construct models. And by fitting enough of these triangles together, you can create any model, even curved surfaces. And faces can hide geometry and have material applied to them. Finally, even though drawing and printing in model space is good, printing in paper space is better. When you begin designing a layout in paper space to plot, you go through the following procedure. You create a model drawing. You configure a plotting device. You activate or create a layout. You specify the layout page, such as the plotting device, the paper size, and insert a title block. You create floating viewports and position them in the layout and you set the view scale of the floating viewports. Then you plot the layout. In conclusion, I want to say, don't be afraid of learning AutoCAD. It's not that difficult. There are not a lot of objects in AutoCAD to draw. Oh, there are object types like lines, arcs, circles, polylines, dimensions, text, and hatch. All we do is move the objects, copy and trim and extend lines. Finally, we will be drawing 2D and 3D for every project. You will enjoy creating and then viewing your drawings in 3D space. So send me an email or give me a call for more information about becoming a student. Thank you for watching.